Yagi. Hey, Yagi. All right. And, oh, geez, Nate. Okay. Awesome. I'm looking at my laptop here so I can see. Two, two. This is great. Evan. All right. So, before we get, how's everybody doing? Just, everyone good? All right. <laughs> I see the head nods. <laughs> That's great. That's awesome. Nate, what are you doing these days? You just stay in the house doing karate all day long? Well, I have been doing a lot of the online lessons, but uh, I've actually been outside a lot. I'm building a bike trail around our house because I can't go mountain biking anywhere. So that's yeah. Something. Okay. Well, that's cool. Come on, Drew. Okay. Great. Um, all right, Jane and Derek. Just cool, good deal. All right, so we're gonna do some uh, some advanced key home tonight. Any requests on specific techniques? Oh, Sensei Robert. Maybe some of the terrible five from the Sandan Yondan exam. Terrible five. Can you can, we, can you remind me which ones those are? <laughs> the uh, <laughs> um, Mayashi Yokugeri Hurricane half or Mayashi Yokugeri Yakazuki, uh, Mayashi Mageri Yakazuki. Yeah. The, uh, okay. Yokugeri Hurricane half step Yakazuki. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Those are good. Okay, sit by in. I already know all of those. So whatever you <laughs> So what? Whatever you want to do is just Okay. Fine. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Uh, let's see. Yogi, anything specific? I feel like I'm missing the five kicks. You know, since the five kicks. Yeah, we can do that. <laughs> okay, this, this this is this is perfect. Okay. How about uh, Evan or Jaden, Bill? I think your your daughter trains. Any, any specific requests, guys? No. 
No, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. We'll get started. Um, so, did everyone stretch out already, or are you guys? Re I wanted to stretch out, but yeah, we'll go ahead and just stretch out together. Just let's go arms around. We'll hit the lat post. Okay, backwards. Okay, feet apart. Practice when your feet are apart. Practice grabbing, grabbing the floor with your toes, and then uh, kind of almost kime or, or or squeeze your legs, and then just rotate so you can really tighten the legs and then feel the uh, the isolation of your hip joints just loosening up. But definitely squeeze the floor, pull your legs together, and then move. Uh, just you know, this way, rotate. Okay, now move to one direction. So I'm, I'm turning to my right, and I'm really grabbing the floor and pushing down with my left leg. And I want to see, as I squeeze my glute and squeeze my whole back leg, this leg, how far is my mobility, how far can I twist in this spot? But in order to do that and get more range of motion, I've really got to drive down through my leg. So right there with me is about it. I'm just gonna kind of work this, I'm gonna work this out a little bit. I'm gonna move back and forth nice and easily. I'm gonna work it out, twist a little bit more. I'm gonna go in the other direction, squeezing my whole back leg. Just grab every grab my bones basically with my my whole leg. And I'm gonna work it out. Twist a little more, see if I can stretch and release and create more mobility in this hip joint. And now I'm gonna stay loose again and just kind of go back and forth. See if the initial stretch allowed me to go a little bit more deeper in the twist. Back, still squeezing my glute and twisting this way. Okay, go all the way down. <clears throat> And same thing applies, you grab the floor with your toes, grab the floor, press down, and then imagine someone's pulling you up by your, your hips, but you're just, you're pressing down and someone's pulling your hips up, but your feet are glued to the ground. And then back. And down again. Back one more time. Okay, I'm just gonna go this way. Now do the uh, runner's lunge. Stretch my uh, hip flexor in front. Okay, pigeon, or sorry, lizard first, this one, stretch, I'll go pigeon. Okay, switch directions, other side. Lizard first. Okay, now go pigeon all the way down. My uh, hip joints are, I try to be forward as much as possible. Just work into this hip flexor. Work into this out, outer glute, this hip right here as well. Okay. Back. Okay, reaching down. 
grabbing. Get down a little bit. Up. Come up a little bit. There you go. Okay. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> Okay, we're gonna move in our front stance back and forth to continue to warm up, front stance, back stance, and then we'll stay in our kibidachi stance and do some blocks. Again, this is just to warm up the legs a little bit. Okay, yo. Okay, left leg forward, down block, kumite. All right, <clears throat> back and forth. So what I want everyone to think about here is, uh, get your ankle position, go ahead and adjust your stance and get your back foot, your ankle position where it's almost literally all your toes are facing forward. So if you can see my toes, I'm gonna to get my toes to face as much forward as possible. From here, I'm gonna squeeze my whole back leg. I'm squeezing it really tight right now. And at that point, you may feel like, man, I can't really go into my front stance with both my hips forward. Well, hopefully during this exercise, we'll be able to do that. So go out as far as you think you can. Squeeze your glute as hard as you can. Squeeze here. And then just sink into that spot. Now, you might be a little bit taller than your normal front stance. But from here, we're trying to get a little bit more ankle flexibility, ankle mobility. So certainly grab the floor with your toes. Press down into the floor in all four corners or maybe three corners. So where your pinky is, where your big toe and ball of your foot is, and on also where your heel is. So really press down and feel all three corners in the floor. And drive your hips forward. So you're gonna feel it in your, in your hip flexor. Hips are straight forward. And then just kind of work into that. So keep, keep squeezing back here. Now what I want you guys to do as you're squeezing back there, I want you to squeeze like firm up, tense up your whole front leg and activate all your glutes and your lower abdominal. So really right now, your front stance, you should just be, everything should be like extremely tense. And then as you're doing that, control your breathing. Just a calm breath, but everything here, is rock solid everything in your legs is rock solid if you want to relax a little bit that's fine and then re-engage everything no problem there as well but squeeze everything squeeze the floor pull everything in together now as you maintain this feeling stay low on your front leg and don't lose this posture from your forehead and your shoulders all the way down to your hips what I want you guys to do is just squeeze here and then come up right there and then go back into the squeeze your leg again. Come up one, squeeze this leg. This is going to pull everything together. Your lower abdominal and this leg is going to pull everything in. Squeeze. Still squeezing, still squeezing. Squeeze. 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 Squeeze, and last one, squeeze. Okay, go ahead and just switch your stance. So I'm, I'm guessing every, I'm guessing there's probably some, some tightness and soreness. Um, if you're feeling a little cramped, you can lighten off on how, on how, um, how firm you squeeze everything. But again, get your toes so they're all forward. Squeeze everything, squeeze in front like this, squeeze here, squeeze there, squeeze there, squeeze your knee, squeeze this glute. Now on this, this side for me, my right leg forward, my left leg forward is lacking in mobility compared to my other side. So I can feel it already. I really gotta work on this side. Okay. I'm gonna get a, try to get a little more, so straight up. Work this hip. Now I'm going to pull it in. I'm going to squeeze this side, my front leg, pulling everything together. 
trying to maintain some relaxedness in my shoulders and my hands. I'm really tight right here. So if Sensei Rob were to punch me, I wouldn't want to puke. I might just fall over a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to pull in. I'm going to squeeze everything in, but stay, stay the same height. One, squeezing. Go back. Two, still squeezing. One, still squeezing, still tight. Two, still tight. Three, one more time. Come in, still squeezing this leg, squeezing this leg. And relax, yame. Dante. <clears throat> so now we'll do the same thing again. We won't stay as long, but go back into your left leg forward. Now we'll go the whole way through. We'll just come in and out. And then as you go out into your long stance, time it so that you know, I'm gonna come from here. I'm, I'm really tense. I'm squeezing everything together, really firm. Still squeezing everything together. Still squeezing everything together. Maintain that tension throughout the whole length of the stance. We'll go three forward and then we'll switch legs and go three the other way. <clears throat> Back leg forward, shime, squeeze. Everything's tight, so there's no wiggling or wobbling. One, two, still squeezing. Now we'll go back. Each knee, squeeze. Back, last one. Each posture, knee, squeeze. Back. The feeling is almost like in, uh, uh, geez, Pangetsu, you know how we do this move and everything's like tension this way, squeezing. It's the same concept. We're just warming up our legs and going front stance. But the concept of squeezing inner tension uh, still applies. Okay, other leg. Optimal front stance. Again, right there. Okay, going forward. Each hips. Squeeze the back leg. And then go backwards. Knee. Squeeze really hard. Squeeze your stomach. Each pull in. Knee. Squeeze. Back. Last one. Each, stay low, squeeze, drive through the heel, squeeze the back leg. Yame. Now it's a, okay, go to shake it out. <clears throat> Reason behind that is to train, once you get to your optimum oizuki, or your optimum yakazuki, or kizamazuki, whatever the case may be, it could be a rising block out of any stance. This could be on the back stance, we could do this uh, little drill, this isometric drill, or again, any stance. But the idea is to practice and feel the, everything is just incredibly locked together at the maximum here. So if I can train my, my stance, again, on a back stance, anything, and I'm just totally like mentally squeezing as hard as I can there, but I can still maintain a relaxed breath, a relaxed mind. Um, then moving, then eventually once I get to a fast and move, my kime, my ability to be stable at the maximum impact will improve. But that's just something that we can all do at home right now is get into your friends. Like, what do I want my friends to look like? Well, I definitely want my toes I need, I need to have my toes more flexible or my ankle more flexible. If they're all forward, sometimes I feel like my hips like this. Well, I need to get it like that. In order to do that, I gotta squeeze here. I gotta squeeze back here so that if I do get into that perfect stance, I know that I've trained that way and I feel the stability right there. That's the only reason why we're doing this. And it just, it warms your body up too, I think. I'm sweating already. Surprise, surprise. <clears throat> okay. Yoi.
So about to the, uh, just begin to a Kibidachi stance. We'll just do 10 punches, rising blocks, just to get to warm up the legs. Okay, same thing. Squeeze the floor with your toes and work on, as we're doing this, squeeze your glutes and work on just getting a little bit more mobility. Left hand out, just uh, 10 punches. Each, B, Tom, Chi, Go, Rook, Titch, Hutch, Ku, Ju, rising blocks. Each, Ni, Tom, Chi, Go, Rook, Hitch, Hutch, Ku, Ju, Slurp block. Each, Ni, Tom, Chi, Go, Rook, Hitch, Hutch, Ku, Ju, inside out block. Each, Ni, Tom, Chi, Go, Rook, Hitch, Hutch, Ku, Ju, down block, each, knee, sum, chi, go, rook, itch, butch, ku, and ju. Yummy. No take. Okay, go ahead and stretch it out. Take your time to leg lift. Work the hips. Double kicks. Loosen the legs up. <clears throat> okay, so, okay, we oh, got plenty of time, great, okay, yo, left leg forward, down block, come on, Tay, okay, just starting on the basics, let's do Oizuki, forward, and then triple punch, one, two, three, backwards. We'll just do two going forward, two going backwards. Okay, half speed. Each, knee, some, chi. Each, knee. And then switch your stance. Always you keep forward. Triple punch going backwards. Each knee, each knee, and your may now take okay. Left leg forward, knife hand block. Quite take thanks. Sorry, guys. Okay, left hand block. Okay, we'll go two. Front snap kick, spear hand, and come back again. Front step, front snap kick, spear hand. Each knee. One more time. Tom. Chi, switch sides. Back stance. Each. Knee. Tom. Chi. Yummy. Now it's a. Okay, everyone warmed up, kind of. Okay. If you need some more, let's see her. All right. <clears throat> okay, yo. Left leg forward, down block. Come on, Tay. Okay, come on. So half, come on, stance. Okay, Yakizuki, or we'll, we'll do Kisamazuki first. This one, come back. Here we go. We'll go to the camera. Hold it up. Each. Knee. Back. Last one going forward. Tom. G. 
Chi. This time go forward. I didn't mean. And then we'll come back up this way. Come on. And then sit back. <clears throat> Each. Knee. Come back. Each. Knee. Come back. Last one. Each. Knee. Okay. Do two on your own. Let's go. One, two. And then go back and reset. Here we go. Hajime. All right. Good. Okay, come on. Take the other side, left leg, left leg. So have your hips forward a little bit. Not a little bit, but have them forward. Just for the key home portion so you can feel the uh, hips and shoulders go to the side so you get maximum extension. So forward, each. Knee, right there. Squeeze in one more time. Each. Knee. Last one. Each. Knee. Okay, here we go. Three, two, or three. Up to you. One count. How's your name? Okay, good deal. All right. Yeah, mate. I'll take. Okay, yo. This time we'll go Uda Kane. And then we'll get into more of the combinations. <clears throat> okay, left or right leg forward. Come on, take. Uda Kane, same thing. Hips forward. Hips forward. Yeah, this time is one count. Back fist, back fist up. Each. Knee. Good. So hips and shoulders side. You guys already know this, but make sure you feel it. Hips and shoulders side. And then come back up, square again. Side. Square again. Okay, left side, left leg. One count. Each. Knee. All right. Okay, back to the other side. Right leg forward. Okay, Oizuki. Out of Kamai stance, Oizuki. Okay, going forward, half speed. So, you're still practicing. Keep the back foot on the ground for now. Make sure you time, make sure the, the, the timing of here, when you are at maximum extension and your back leg locking and you feel the stability. Work on the timing of that. So from here, there. Okay, so half speed, going forward, Oizuki. Each, and then knee. Yeah. One more time. Each, knee. Back again. A little, bit, a little bit more fluid. Don't hold the key as long. Each. Knee. Going towards the camera. Each. Yeah, good. Nice sensei. Good job. All right, Gabriel. Hey, good job. Okay, Yakizuki. Yakizuki, reverse punch, hold. Each. Good. Feel back here, guys. Make sure you feel the back leg. Knee. My mind is all back here. This is just an afterthought. So if I were to punch, and then there we go. 
Here we go. H. Hey. To the camera. H. Knee. Okay, one count all the way through. Each knee. Nice, Nate. Good job. Becky, good. One second. All right. Okay, here we go. We're good, I think. Okay, we're going to stay um, in our Kamai stance. So you can, so here, here's the drill that we're going to work on right now. You can either go Kizamazuki or think Udukin, anything that basically gets us into that long front stance. Yakuzuki is a fine, so just kind of think about here, but basically we're going to, we're going to do this drill. So from here long, and if you want to get a little bit longer than you normally do, try that, try that. So from here. And all I'm going to do is pull this leg in each. But try, try. This is the this is the drill. Try to stay here, and then here, here. Try that. So if you can put some stability into this front leg and pull in here, here, and here, that'll be the that'll be the goal. That'll be the goal. And then go back. Boom. So we'll do three with each leg. My left leg is forward here. I want to train a little bit lower than I'm used to doing, just so if I'm here, it'll be a little easier when I'm actually doing the exam. So one, and then pull in each. We're going to come back again. Knee. One more time. Two more times. So, chi. Each. Me. Okay, just go ahead and switch or shake it out first. That's a challenging one. Man. Okay, uh, other side. Okay, so really tighten your stomach really hard, like somebody is going to punch you in the stomach. Here we go. Now pull in and squeeze your glute. Itch. Good. Knee. So, chi, each, knee, one more time. So, chi, yame. Go ahead and shake it out. You guys sweating yet a little bit? High five. I see how, yeah, you sent it around, but nice. Yeah, Nate, okay. Okay, let's do that drill again. Only this time, we'll pull in, isolating the, low, isolating the lower half. We'll pull in, and then have the feeling of driving off this back leg into a front stance again, but keeping that down, the heel down. Again, just to build the kime, just to build the, the muscles in the lower half. <clears throat> Okay, we'll go three this way with our, my left leg is forward right now, my left leg. I'll come to you guys, to the camera. There you go. We'll come in. So just think, Kizamazuki, half step Yakazuki, or Yakazuki, Kizamazuki, Yakazuki. Okay, here we go. Each. That's right. Deep. And then we'll go back again two more times. Oh, long stance, long stance, start long. Each knee. One more time, side view. 
each knee. Okay, switch. Each knee. Each knee. One more time, last one. Each knee. And your main. I'll tell you. How does that feel to everybody? Any, any feedback on that? Any um, any questions or, or that feels awkward or anything? If I feel pretty comfortable. I noticed. It, oh, oh, sorry, go ahead. I noticed it's significantly easier with my left leg than my right leg. I don't know why. Yeah. Like, off of. Yeah. yeah I'm, yes, I'm that way too, Nate. My left leg has more, uh, my. My right ankle has more flexibility in it than my left ankle, so it makes one way a little bit easier. Yeah, because on my right leg, my heel wants to come off the ground. Yeah. Or on my left leg, it's fine. Yeah. Just being how about awkward. how about any sort of like? For me, um, it feels awkward. Yeah. Well, of course, Gabriel. How about like, um, you feel a disengagement of your of your alignment in a certain part. I know for me before it was this part right here. I would come here and my hips and my, it would just disconnect. You guys feel that too? A little bit? Okay, so, 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 so. If not, no big deal, I'm just, I'm just curious. This helps. Okay, we'll go to the next one. Okay, you know, I hope everyone's warmed up now. So now we'll go to kicks and then uh, a punch. So, <clears throat> okay, Yoy. Uh, left leg forward down block. Kamaite and then Kamai stance. So, these are all going to be the Mayashi. So, Mayashi, bring the back foot to the front foot. Yeah, front snap kick or side snap kick. And then a Yakazuki. So, we'll do the same leg over and over again for maybe three to five repetitions, and then we'll go the other direction. But we'll, we'll progressively start slower and then get a little bit quicker towards maybe the fifth repetition. So from here, we'll do Mayashi Mangeti Yakizuki. The, 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 the main thing, guys, is just please stay low on your legs, even, if, even when we're walking through this. So each... Knee, and then go back again. Each knee, back again. Each knee, one more time, <clears throat> a little bit quicker. Each knee. Okay. <clears throat> now on this technique. I didn't mention this earlier, but it's okay on this technique. I know we've been training to have in the initial part of the uh, session to have the back heel on the floor. In this part, go ahead and lift it up so you get maximum length, maximum extension. <clears throat> Punch, but don't lose your posture though. Make sure your posture stays, you know, your back straight, that type of thing. And then come on again. And then other side. <clears throat> So other leg now. So Mayashi Mageti, Yakizuki. Start slowly and progressively get a little bit quicker. Each knee. So she. Go. <clears throat> All right. I'm going good. Okay. Mayashi Yoku Gedi. Side snap kick. Yakizuki. Back to the right leg. So. <clears throat> 
I know she and Kyle talks about this a lot, and if you practice it, it makes sense. So just remember on the, on the side snap kick, his suggestion is to your supporting foot, just open your supporting foot. If typically I'm kicking, my supporting foot is 90 degrees, just open it to like, or like 120, 130. So it opens your hip more. <clears throat> So, let half speed, Mayashi, Yokogeti, Yakazuki. Each. Oh, Each. Knee. Some. Chi. Okay, switch. Other foot. Each. Knee. Some. And last one. Chi. Yeah, me. Nice. Okay, take about 30 seconds, grab a drink if you need. I'm gonna let my dog out. All right, buddy. Okay. All right, the next one, we'll go Mayashi, Maigeti, Yakuzuki. Mayashi, Maigeti, Yakuzuki. <clears throat> okay, going with my left leg first. Each knee. Each. Let's see, guys. Go ahead. Some. Good. Yes. And last one. That's good, guys. Chi. Hey, switch. Other side. <clears throat> Each. Good. Very nice. It's cool to see the rhythm. Me. Two more. Tom. And last one. Chi. M.A. Okay. All right. What did Gallard? Excuse me? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I thought. <laughs> So I have a question. No question. Any tips, Sensei, for the Yokogeti? I know uh, for myself, and I see a lot of people when they're doing it, they yeah. come through and it's kind of crunched this way. Yeah. As opposed to proper. Do you have any tips yeah. on how to make that better? Yeah, it's funny you asked that because I've been working on that by myself at the house. Um, I have a question. So I've been starting just low. So if you can see the alignment here, so not like this. If, if I do, if, if I am like this, what I do at one point, I was like this. And so if I'm crushed, I wanted to straighten my leg. So put tension, kime in my leg. And then I would actively just pull my heel back this way. That's the tightness or the tightness for me was in my hamstring and my, and my glute. 
And by actively pulling it back, it allowed me to be a little bit stronger in, in this position, straight, so I wasn't so scrunched. But it took a little bit of time just to, okay, I gotta stay here and just kind of work it back this way. Eventually, it got to the point where I could have my heel and my leg and my hip all in one line. So, if that's something that works and resonates with some folks in the group, definitely try it. <clears throat> um, I think strengthening this hip joint is, is, is crucial. Um, and you can do that by just doing drills like this. And then, you know, little circles and go other direction and go back and forth like that. Just start low and work all the different angles and, and mobility motions that, that we put our hip through. So I hope that helps. The other thing as well is I'll get my foot into a position. I'll literally put a pencil behind my knee and I'll squeeze the pencil so that it doesn't drop and I'll get my foot and my ankle into the proper yokogeti position, and I'll have something here um, to brace myself. And then I'm squeezing my whole leg right here, this whole leg, I'm squeezing it pretty firmly. And then from there, I'll just do the motion. I'll come up like that, and then I squeeze back here. By squeezing back there, I'm actively pulling my leg back together. I'm not loud, I'm not just letting it fall down again. Like I'm not letting gravity take it back. I am squeezing this supporting glute here and I'm squeezing it back. And now this is holding it there. Now I release it, lift, bring it back. Lift, bring it back. So I'm, I'm just kind of working that motion along with separately doing this, this kind of stuff. It'll help, it'll help in the long run. So I hope that answers, it's kind of a long way to answer your question, Sensei Robert. <clears throat> but I hope those help. Um, and then same thing here too. I will squeeze my supporting leg really firmly. I'll squeeze it and then I'll pick my knee up. I'll squeeze back here as if I have a pencil back here and I'll just work this. And I'll just mentally just try to push my knee back as far as I can this way. I feel it in this glute, which is great. And I'm pushing this hip forward and I'm actively pulling this back. And I'll bring it back here and I'll squeeze it together. I'll just kind of work that, but I'll have, I'll brace myself on something as well. So, cause it, it takes a little bit of time just to work that action. But it's, it's, you know how Cynthia Maria sometimes she'll say, when we, when we do our front snap kick, some students tend to drag their foot here. And all it is is because this feeling of not squeezing, we just don't have that muscle memory yet. It's not that we can't do it. It's just, we have to like actively like, you know, taking the time to drill this part. So it just takes a little bit of time which we all have right now. So, okay, enough talking for me. I'm talking way too much. Okay. Um, that's a great next uh, thing we'll do is the five kicks. This is a perfect segue. Great question, Sensei Robert, because that's what Yagi was probably wanting to do. Okay. Hands up. Slowly. This would be a good slow drill. So we'll do my Getty. My Getty front snap kick. So each squeeze here, knee, yep. song, chi, go, rook, back. Challenging. Okay, we'll do one and then switch to the other side. Each knee, song. Squeeze, chi, go, rook, and down, and switch, other foot, okay, 
for now, yes, work on the kick, but put your brain and put your mind in the supporting leg and see if you can control your kick better by actively, actively squeezing the glute and the supporting leg to bring it back here, bring it back here, kick, kick. See if that helps. Put your, put your mind in the supporting leg. Here you go. Each, me, some, she, go, rook, and down. <clears throat> and yame. We're going to do that again. So I, I'm not sure if the younger students, uh, I know, let's see, where did, okay, some of those guys are gone. Evan, I know Evan, this will be on your exam in a few years from now, but just keep practicing this. This is great for you. Okay, all the way through, here we go. Left leg forward, down block. Okay, three. So we'll go all the way through, come back. Do another set, we'll do three with each leg. On your own. Take your time. Hajime. Down. Yeah, man. Good job. Good job, Zime. <laughs> nice job. Okay, other side. This is the this is the beauty of it. We can do the other side. Come on, Tay. The beauty. Okay, three. How's your man? All day. All right. <clears throat> Let's see here. Um, I know what we'll do. Okay. Everyone knows their uh, cat stance, correct? Us. If you don't know your cat stance and you're following along at home, have your feet together like this. Start your feet together. Turn one foot 45 degrees. And put the other foot, so slide the other foot. I'm going to turn this foot 45 degrees. Bam. My left foot. My other foot is going to go right in front. And now I'm going to face the camera again on the ball of my foot. And I'm going to squeeze as if I had a ball right here. I'm going to squeeze. Squeeze right there. Squeeze. So all the weight is going to be on my, my left leg right there. And it's a little bit of weight, a little bit of weight on my front foot. But I can still pick my front foot up and not lean. Okay. Go ahead and sit here. Now put my right leg is forward. Put your left hand out front like this. 
Okay. We're going to punch with this hand. Each punch, kick, knee, bring it back down, back again. Punch, each punch, kick, back down. One more time. Each punch, kick, back down. Okay, switch sides. Cat stance with your left leg forward or your right leg forward if you did the other leg. Okay, so all the weight is on my right foot now, my right glute. Okay, right hand is out, left hand is back. Okay, feel pretty firm in my supporting leg. Punch each, bam, kick, back down. Knee, punch, back down. Last one, punch each. And you may. I'll say, okay, back to the other side. <clears throat> so my right leg is forward. This end, I'm going to punch, punch, kick, punch. So, there you go. Punch, punch. One, two, punch, punch, kick. Punch. Okay. So as you're doing this, feel, feel yourself nice and light in the front leg. And when you're about to do the last punch, execute the last punch, put your brain into your supporting leg and your lower abdominals. So you can feel the stability, building the stability in the leg. Okay, here we go. We'll do three. My left leg is the supporting leg. My right foot is out front, nice and light. Left hand is out front. Punch, punch. One, two, punch, punch. Kick, punch. Okay, left hand out again. Punch, punch. One, two, kick, punch. Last one, all the way through. Each, one, two, punch. And yame. Great, here we go, other side. We'll start right from the first one. Punch, punch, kick, punch. <clears throat> Each, one, two, kick, punch. Knee. Each. And yame. Dante. It hits. <clears throat> All right. On get to stance. On get to stance. Back toes are all the way forward. Go into like we'll go to your front stance for those of you who are familiar with on get to stance. Hourglass stance. <clears throat> right now it's half moon. Not hourglass. So front stance. Bring your front foot in a little bit and turn it all the way like this. Back foot should be going forward as much as possible. Back toes are straight forward. Front toes are 45 degrees. My front knee is pushing out over my front toe. I don't want my knees in like this. I still want the outer edge of my foot gripping the floor on both, on both feet. But I definitely have a beach ball or a soccer ball. Ha, I do have a soccer ball here. This is the feeling right here. I'm squeezing that soccer ball with my thighs, not my knees, my thighs. That way. And I'm still pressing down into the ground. <clears throat> okay. So think, uh, think how get you stance. One, two, three. And then we'll do instant up block. Or, uh, yeah, instant up block. So my left leg is forward. Each one, knee, some. Now I want you guys to feel really stable in this stance, like your legs aren't really moving, nothing's really moving except for your arms. Because everything else, you're just holding the kime. 
You're holding it. So here we go. Each knee song. Each knee song. Each knee song. Okay, go ahead and switch other foot forward. Keep the ball there. Actually, I'll take the ball out for now. Okay. Squeeze. Inside out block. Each knee song. Each knee song. Each knee song. One more time. Each knee song. And yame. Now take. <clears throat> And you can practice that doing the, let's see, stepping over. You can go down, you can do the down block. One, two, three. Instead of this, go one, bam, bam. Okay. Other stance, Kosa Dutch. So knees together. Back of your Achilles tendon is on the, this part of your ankle, you're grabbing the Achilles tendon there, squeezing your knees. Again, if there's a piece of paper, I don't want that paper to fall between my knees or between my thighs. Squeeze it pretty firm. Squeezing my glutes, squeezing my lower abdominals. Everything else is pretty loose. Okay, uh, rising block. So I'm going to block uh, my right hand, my right foot, my right leg is forward. Left hand out and block each knee. So, chi, go, rook, pitch, arch, two, two. Okay, switch legs. Other leg. Okay, good. There we go. Right hand is out. Each. Knee. So. Chi. And go. Yummy. Don't say. And for the last one, because you guys love this, I'm sure, we'll do the uh, cocky stance. But we'll just do punches in the front. <clears throat> so I'm going to stand on my right leg, or have my right leg as my supporting leg, the balancing leg, and then grab back here, bend a little bit. And same thing, I'm still squeezing my, I'm still kind of squeezing everything together. Gonna squeeze here. Good. Just going to go punches back and forth. It doesn't matter which hand is out front first. Just punch. Each. Knee. So. Chi. Go. Bro. Each. Punch. Two. Two. Yeah, man. Okay, switch. <clears throat> there we go. Each. Knee. So. Chi. Go. Bro. Hitch. Hutch. Two. Ah. Two. Yeah, man. I'll take. All right, go ahead and shake it out, guys. Ah. Okay, we did a lot of punches. Now I got to finish with some kicks. We'll do five with each leg. My Getty, side snap, and roundhouse, and back kick. All right, so squat down. We'll do one. Oh, it's just 10 total with each leg. 
each me some she go rook itch hutch coo chew okay side snap kick side snap kick uh, be deliberate on the wind up. Kick back down. Each knee some chi go broke itch hutch. Q, Q. <clears throat> okay, Mawashi and then back kick. <clears throat> Each knee, some chi go. Rook, itch, touch, coo, chew. All right, last ten. <clears throat> uh, Shimagiri. <clears throat> itch, e. Some chi go rock itch watch two <clears throat> two <clears throat> okay yeah me us. Now you shake it out. Go ahead and uh, stretch. Uh, lizard stretch again, lizard. And switch directions. Back straight, as straight as possible. Push your knees out. Okay. Um, any comments, guys, or any questions, or stuff that you want to work on more in detail next time? No. No. Okay, here. No. April. Us. I think I need to work on my ba my balance. Yes, I think everybody should do that. That's a good. That's a good call. Uh, Senpai, Ann, anything for next time? No, Sensei. Everything's just great. Whatever you're doing is. Oh, good. Thank you for saying that, Becky. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I love the fact that you're working on kicks because you don't do it in class often enough at the dojo. Oh, good, good. Sensei, I don't know if you even heard, but in case you're wondering, uh, I said something during the side squat kicks. Oh. I was, but I was just asking if we'd have to do like that, like this. Uh, but th never mind. I was, I was. <laughs> Okay. I was <laughs> asked. Yeah. Do so you work your legs. Do so you work your legs. Okay. How about Ray or Jaden? Uh, Joanna? All good, guys. Hey, Jimmy. I know you have some questions. 
<laughs> no, you're good. Okay. Oh, thumbs up. Okay. It feels more like all about using the core pulling back. I feel losing balance when I'm pulling it back. Yeah, I, I really recommend, I really recommend like, okay, so for example, um, uh, do, do a yoko getty, for example, like get yourself into the wind up position. Now, as you're in this position, the supporting leg, I want you to squeeze that supporting leg, your glute, just like kind of think about your muscles, just kind of wrapping around your bone. Okay. And that's the stabilizing everything. Now, as you do that, as you do that, this, this glute right here, that point, this glute right here, I'm gonna let it go. This hip's gonna go at the same time. Kick, now we're gonna bring it back with this glute. See if you can mentally just put your mind there and just allow that to be the fulcrum and the control while you're squeezing your leg. Us, I'll try that. It might help just with overall just balance in the end because now you're like, I got one leg that's really firm, it's grabbing everything. My toes feel like they're really strong into the ground. Us. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to find the uh, right balance between reaching. So when we are kicking, I don't want to be right at the same place, right? I still be pushing my hip forward. And then- Yeah, that's, that's, that's another good question. So <clears throat> to strengthen that, to strengthen yourself at the maximum point, hold on to a, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hold on to this right now. Hold on to this, get your kick at the maximum point, and then literally feel yourself just, you're grounded into your supported leg, but feel yourself being pulled and stretched that way while keeping your leg really, 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 really tight. That way you're like maximum strength, but you're at like your, you, you, you know, you're at your maximum stretch, strength, everything is just. Us. Yeah. It, Cause then once you do that full speed, you already have like built up those small little muscles in your leg to like keymate like really hard right there. Like bam. Us. Yeah. But if we, if we just kind of practice doing this, stretching it right there, and then you know, working this way, this way, while still keeping our mind and our, you know, everything's in the support, like gripping hard. It was it's just little little things like that. Like my help. That I miss you guys, man. Oh, me too. I miss Zojo. <laughs> yeah. No kumite for this long. Oh, man. I know. I know. I feel like I'm actually recovered now, so maybe <laughs> <laughs> hit a little harder next time. <laughs> well, um, gosh, guys. Hey, thank you for joining. Thanks for uh, joining the session. Um, Again, shoot me a text or anything if you have any questions, or if you want to do anything next time, next Monday, or I'm not sure what I'm teaching next. I haven't looked at the schedule, but yeah, shoot me a text, message, anything. Oh, All right. Thank you, Sensei. Okay, thank you. Have a great evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sensei. You're welcome. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you, Sensei. Thank, thank you. you thank, thank you, guys. Thank you for training. Thank you, Sensei. Us. Us, Gabriel. Thank you, Sensei.